students, don't forget that next week we will be having standardized tests in all of your favorite subjects. I repeat, all of your favorite subjects. So bring a fresh new number two pencil, get a good night's sleep, because we begin testing for hours and hours and hours. Oh, and don't forget, eat a good breakfast.
Let me guess, you have the T E S T. That's right. How did you know? I'm mighty spelling bot. I do an A L L. Not just one test, a whole week of standardized tests. My deep math mind here, now I see that it all adds up. Well, kids, never fear. Mighty minds are here. Well, have you seen a different tune in no time or my name's at Mighty Minds? Mighty history mind here, and I can't hear a thing. Tests don't have to be stressful, kids. As long as you are prepared, you'll do fine. Ah, uh, I see. Don't get homework, eh? Well, never fear. Mighty reading mind is here. You'll find out all you need to know if you just read the right book. I don't really like to read. Ah, uh, ah, uh, don't like to read, don't like to read. This is worse than I thought. Take it easy, Marty, reading Marty. We need to teach the students that learning can be F-U-N. We, we must show them that to be curious is what life is all about. Knowledge is power. Give me a book and I'll give you the world. Uh, what did he say?
Thanks a lot, Mighty Math Mind. No problem, kids. That's what we superheroes do. Math, like any other subject, can be A-OK. -okay. Yeah, but on our tests, there will be questions on every subject known to humankind. Yeah, like science. And history. And spelling. Did I hear history? Did somebody say history? Yes, Mighty History Mind was supposed to know a whole bunch of dates like when Columbus came to America. And, and how our government works. It can even teach us about lighting, technology, and even how many things we can do. Well, no wonder you're all so upset. Upset? I think the downright M-A-D. My brain is full. My head is exploding. Learning is fun. That's right. The more you know, the more you want to know. To prepare for this test and for life, there's only one secret. What's that, mighty science mind? You gotta want to know. I want to know.
showed us how smart we are. That's great. Remember, you all have mighty minds just like us. But wait! What is a mighty music mind? There's only one thing you don't have. Caves! Caves? But never fear, mighty Casa Mind is on the way even as he's... And in the power of Vesna and me as your oldest mighty mind still thinking, I dub each and every one of you of a lifetime mighty mind. Ladies and gentlemen, can we give our second graders another huge round of applause? I think that they did a really nice job of showing us what's important at Ben Franklin, using our creativity and using our thinking skills all of the time. They did a wonderful, wonderful job. So great work, second graders. We are very proud of you. We'd also like a big round of applause for our second grade teachers for being so flexible during our rehearsals and during all that hard work. And a big round of applause for a man who usually has a knack for sliding out the side door right around this time of the show with Mr. Calavita. Wonderful, wonderful job helping out with our set. And a very, very special thank you to Mr. Rigby, who has done so much this year and who has helped to prepare us for this wonderful show. And again, boys and girls, congratulations. You did such a wonderful job. We are so proud of you. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you.